Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today we're making uh, what I'm going to call a bow tie fighter salad. When I see the bow ties, they're so cute. They remind me of a show I watched with bow tie fighters. So I, uh, I nicknamed them bow tie fighters instead of bow tie pasta. So that's been a little trivia. So we're going to put in this our radishes. Got one apple, baby carrots, mm, I gotta get my cutting thing too, and um, some whole mushrooms, whole celery, and a, I forget what cucumber. cucumber, my mind went blank, and white onion. No. What I'm attempting to get here is a variety of colors for this salad. Okay. And we're going to use our hand, my handy little cutting device too. So, I'm going to pull off, I think, two, two celeries. Should do it. Two celeries. And we're going to get put this right back in the fridge. Okay, one thing about my recipes is I like to do, and David just brought me my little cute little cutting device that we're gonna use. Um, I use, like to use a lot of fresh vegetables in my family's diet. It's just something I've always done. And I look at it, you might think it costs a lot for the fresh vegetables, but when you think of that when you're actually using your fresh vegetables, you're only actually using one or two pieces out of it. So you divide it up into several meals. It's not that costly. Now cut your celery down the middle, fold it over like this, and chop. And I'm using my favorite knife. For just a little bit of trivia, I used to watch a lot of Food Network and my favorite <coughs> chef used the same knife. As a matter of fact, he'd use two at a time and just chop away. And so I always loved his knife. And then two Christmases ago, my mom gave actually something I wanted was this knife and I just love it. It can't do everything because you need multiple knives for it. And I'm planning on doing a big old knife event with my son hosting where he can tell you the purposes and good knives to get. Even little guy like this, to get a variety of sizes in, I'm gonna <clears> just <throat> chop down the middle. It's so cute. The tips of it is so cute. And I'm dicing them to many different sizes. Okay, now a little bit of a safety tip. When you're dicing, if the phone rings, do not jump. Do not turn away to look at the phone while you're chopping and thus cut your finger off or cut it in half and end up in the emergency room. So this little talk on knife safety, always Look down at what you're chopping. Keep your fingers away from the knife. Uh, and just, just so keep know, chopping. If you hold it like this, the knife will you won't be able to cut your finger. Safety tip. Yeah. You want to hold the column like this. In fact, in fact she'll do it now. Just put your, your hand. Put your nails into the downward instead. planning on doing a whole episode on knives because one thing I have in it is an entire drawer of knives here and a lot of knives use different purposes. <coughs> so I want to do that. Okay, now I'm going to chop a mushroom. <laughs> Okay, these are whole mushrooms. Mushrooms come in different sizes. 
And those are just the ones I bought. Yeah. We're going to have an episode on portobellos one day. Uh, we're going to do. Okay, I chop the mushroom in half and then dice it. And I'm going to take the two tails. <laughs> the entire mushroom is edible. The stem and everything is edible. And for this salad... Uh, for y'all to know, certain mushrooms, the stem is only edible, and certain mushrooms, only the top is edible, just so y'all know. This is the entire mushroom is edible. That particular variety of okay. mushroom. <coughs> now, as you can see, we washed our vegetables from before. This apple is still wet. So when you're doing an apple, you oh, know so this... What was that? That was... Oh, that's a little... Yep. Okay, um... You have a stem in the middle, so I'm going to take slice down around the stem. A lot of times you don't think of apples as going into a salad, but in my case, I do. And we're going to do other celery. You might want to try that with it on its side. Like that, yeah, like that. There you got a flat surface and cut again. Okay, so. we've got. We're gonna do other recipes with apples in it. I'm, I'm a big fruit person. You can ask my son. Feel free to email and ask. And I'm cutting this piece in thirds to get a different size. Okay. I had too much stuff on the plate, therefore. It was making it hard for me to chop. Make sure you've got a good working area. When you're chopping. This is going to be for dinner. Now, when you're getting a big, the big piece like that, cut it in thirds. Three chai slices down the middle, so that way you have four. Okay. Now let me get another one out. <clears throat> another item out. I'm gonna just get a small one. This is a white onion. You know you haven't seen me use white onions before, but Sable I had a good sale on them where I shot that. So I grabbed it back. Okay. Tip and tail your ends with your cell with your onions. Okay. Just so all know. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Get in here. Peel off the outer skin of your onion like this. Okay. Now you've got the nice inside. Okay. Now the white onions are different from the other onions that we have. They're actually their flavor is a little sweeter than the green onions. Cut down your onion in half like this. Okay, now you have a half. Now chop it down in thirds like this. Okay, and then chop down like this. Okay, and then we're putting them in the salad. Again, I'm chopping it down in thirds <coughs> and then I'm dicing it. Be very careful, again, when your knife getting close to your fingers. Make sure you move your fingers away. Okay. Now here is another underrated vegetable that we're having in the salad. I'm going to chop some radishes. Okay. There's no peeling the radishes. Okay. Slice your radish down the middle. Okay, slice your radish in half again and dice. This is going to give you added color for your, sal for your salads. Now you don't have to cut it that small. I'm just making a variety of sizes. Now I'm going to do this radish a bit different. We're going to tip the end of this, this one to 
toss that away. And let's just do this one like this. I'm trying, I want to get a variety of sizes so that way the salad is eye appealing. And I'm going to put five radishes in here. Now this one, the tip has to be topped off. And the tail. You can tell if it's got to be by just looking at it. Now I'm going to cut chop this one down the middle. I want people to be able to enjoy the radishes. Three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to just put five radishes in this. That's going to give that lovely radish color. Last tip and hint, radishes also taste good. Now. Now just to show you, watch. Without even dressing, they're so good. Mm -mm. Delicious. And it gives it the added flavor and crunch to the salad. And you want to do this early in the day, so that way the salad has a chance to chill. Okay, let's do the cucumber. Uh, peel. I know. We're going to tip the end. And I'm tipping the other end. And I'm going to peel it. I've got to get the other peeler. Hold on. I'm gonna have to All right, let me see. I need the good peeler. That's not tough enough to peel that. Oh, I see what's wrong with it. That's a cheese slicer. No, it's a peeler. That's my favorite peeler. The peeler bar looks worn on it. Here we go. Try this one. Well, I got six peelers, so I ought to at least get one of them to work. Okay, this one will work. Really best to peel that anyhow on the table. You only need one. I only purchased one cucumber for this salad. See, I peeled that till it's clean. Okay, now we've got the cucumber clean. Let me toss, clean this up a bit. Okay, put that in the garbage. All right, now, when you've got it, use this one right here. Just slice down. <coughs> now that gives some of those whole ones. So let's chop down the middle. You can chop down the middle with these, and then we'll get some half. Remember I told you about the variety of sizes that makes it appealing. Okay, 
okay now we've got two sizes of cucumbers let's go and do a half for this piece again and see how fast you cut with this beautiful knife okay now we've got a full roll and boil here let's get the put in our bow tie fighters they're so cute and the box is of course recyclable and it takes eight to ten minutes for them to be done now we are not I repeat not doing any more cooking with the salad so we have to make sure those are completely done now this is a handy little device here which was a gift from a friend we're going to cut the baby carrots in it and again be very careful with the blade it's very sharp so I'm going to put a bunch of baby carrots in it you might want to half those. Oh, let's we'll give it see. a try. Yeah. Because they're already kind of small. Okay, I'm going to put a bunch of baby carrots in it. Now, you see, this has a stem. It gets locked right in to that. And like this. Now. Going backwards. Okay. You should have had a double cut in there. Is it chopping now? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, now we're going to have to split our own work. Huh? See? Okay, see how quick that is? That was easy. I'm going to chop up some more because I just purchased some big carrots, so I'm just going to use up my baby carrots. Okay. Got it in there, right? There you go. Okay, it's locked in. Yep. It took me a long time to hand chop all these baby carrots. But, with this handy little device, it takes no time at all. Needs to spill card. <laughs> okay. See how nice. Go get a proper spoon or tap or something. All right, there you go. Okay. Now that takes care of all the chopping. And again, do not touch them blades with your hands. It's very sharp. I got cut on it once, so I know. Now that we've got all the chopping done, they're off the table. Let me stir the bow tie fighters. Okay. Uh, by the way, that was one package, 12 ounces of bow tie fighters. Now, what you want to do is you want to mix up your salad. Okay. You want to get all this mixed up before you put your bow tie fighters, your bow tie pasta in it because you want to kind of separate everything. So we really didn't separate them all, we just kind of slapped them all in here. So we've got to get all this mixed up so that way a person just doesn't get a, a whole thing of something.
That's called tossing, by the way. Yeah, I'm tossing the salad. Something I so can't do. Everything is mixed up nicely. This is the best way to separate up your all your little, little gadgets. Okay. Now, because we're making a quick. And I, like, I remind you, you to do this early in the day because you want this to get nice and chilled. And it's a great thing for pe people when they get hungry just to munch on it. Now, I haven't done the tuna fish yet, so we've got to put the two tun cans of tuna fish in here too, which we haven't done yet. But we're getting all this other stuff done first. Okay, now two cans of chunk light tuna. One's in water, one's in vegetable oil. We'll buy water when you can. I buy both. Let's drain this tuna fish and get that in the salad. Well, in fairness, when we got it, they did have a slight run on tuna fish. In fact, they only had 20 cans there. I know, and I took them all. Okay. Let's drain this tuna. <sighs> Okay. Just one. Oh, the, I love the smell of tuna fresh in the can. It just smells so good and fishy. <laughs> because I like fish. Okay. Let's drain the tuna. You have to squeeze it to get every drop of water or oil out, whichever you're using. It's actually healthier. Heart smart to use it in water, but when the store is low on cans, you just get what you can get. Okay, I've drained it out of there. Okay, now I want to talk about lid safety. You cannot drain tuna fish good on the side, so you have to beware these lids are very sharp. I scrape the tuna fish over and then I empty, scraping every scrap of tuna fish out of there. These cans are recyclable. Now to um, for lid safety, put the lid back in the container. Do not cut yourself. Okay. All right. There. There's my two cans of tuna fish. All right. Now, let's toss the salad again. I know it takes a lot to get a salad really well mixed, but it's well worth it. And take your spoons and, you know, divide up your tuna fish a bit. Okay. All right, now the next thing we got to do is do the salad, do a dressing topping for that. Let's see what we've got in here. Chiriaki green, okay. Ta-da, all right. Time to get another dressing out of the cabinet. And we have a lot of it in here. My Hidden Lazy Susan, people. You see it here first. This is my pride and joy. Uh, Caesar, nope. Blue cheese or ranch. Uh, my family loves ranch, so I think I'll have a ranch. I've got all kinds of, uh, you saw, I've got like 10 containers of different flavors of dressing. But my family, everybody in my family, where I make a salad that everybody can enjoy the day. And, um, oh. You already ripped it off. I was going to show you a little trick to open it easier. 
Yeah, well, I like cutting it off. And um, my whole family, everybody, my brother, my son, everybody loves a ranch. So I'm just gonna put, oh, about a half cup of ranch in it. And then, now I'm gonna toss it again. This is gonna be able to tell us if we actually have enough ranch in it by looking at it. So if you wanna add a little bit more, go ahead. And if you wanna add less, I add about a half a cup. I just kind of eye it of the ranch. And turn your bowl, toss it. Toss it. Okay. And you can look at it. Is there a good amount on there? I'm gonna get a fork and have a taste. <coughs> We're gonna be putting more in here because the bow tie fighters is gonna be going in there. But I think I'm gonna test it with a radish. And a little bit more ranch. Because this is a huge salad I'm making. It's going to need a bigger bowl. This is this little bowl here I consider my salad bowl. This is the one I make all my salads in. Okay, now there's plenty of ranch in there now. I'm going to keep it out, just in case. Yeah, when well, we had the bow tie fighters, we're going to add more. All right, now let's check our pasta. The pasta's been cooking. Almost the entire time we've been getting all that. Okay. Now how you how you take it and test it. Okay, that looks completely done. You can check it by feeling it if it's really soft. And that, that's done. It's done. Okay, let's drain this <coughs> pasta and... I got the camera into the fog, there we go. <laughs> we've got to make room in the sink for me to drain it. dishes. Ah, there's my gloves. All the dishes that I dirtied cooking the salad all kind of ended up in the go. sink, so I had to kind of move it out of the sink. So here we go. All right, putting it in the sink. All right. Put it, when you got it drained, drain it to the side like this. Let the stuff flow. Shake. Let that flow. Let's get our pasta. And voila. Here comes the noodles. The invasion of the bow tie fighters. Yay! Now, putting that down the drain because it's good for your pipes. All right. Now, <coughs> take it back the table that was clean before I started. All right, now I'm gonna toss it again. Now this is your final toss. When you're tossing, dig down the bottom of the bowl, <coughs> lift it up. You wanna go carefully, cause this bowl's gotten really full. And you wanna totally get everything all mixed up because once you, you, you put it in the fridge, nobody's gonna mix it, at least in my house. You're just gonna put it on the plate because they know it's done. Mm-hmm. See how good this looks? Uh-huh, I think it needs some more ranch. I wanna just add a little bit more ranch dressing to it. Get them spices and they're just there we go there's just so this is such a huge salad this ought to last my family the entire day easy oh this is looking beautiful see that see how nice that is that's finally getting mixed up good okay that's well mixed I'm going to get a plate. We're going to take a taste of it. I'm going to put this ranch in the fridge. Alright. Let me take a taste. 
Okay, we've got all that good stuff in it. We've already got a fork. Let me take a taste. Mmm. So much of everything. So much. Mmm. Delicious. I can't tell you how delicious this is. Mmm. Well, there you have it. A bow tie fire salad with radishes and apples. Very underrated vegetables together. Radishes and apples just somehow work together so well on a salad. I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying the salad. <laughs> just works together with the crunchiness of the celery. That's a wonderful salad. Give it a try. And I'll see you next video in Sea Sparkles Corner. Bye, everybody.